G'day everyone and welcome back to another shell finding adventure. <laughs> it's early but it looks like the early bird gets the worm. I've barely stepped down and look at that one. <laughs> it is whole. Oh my goodness, isn't that a fantastic first find for really early in the morning? Like it's pretty early. Wonderful. It is quite worn away but it is a beautiful orange deer cowrie. Oh, that looks like a rather big sand snail. Let's take a look at it. Oh, it is empty, I believe. Oh, it's nice on top. Yeah, I love that bluey purple color. I'm pretty sure there's no crab at home in this one. So yeah, that's a lovely one. Little Inces sand snail is its common name. Wow, look at that one. It's broken, but ooh, that's cool. Also, um, it is right on the lowest of low tides that it can, or as low as it can go right now for low tide, but the crazy swell out there is kind of bringing the water up. Anyway, it looks safe enough. Let's have a little look at that big old volute piece. I'm not going to keep it because it's obviously quite old, but wow! Those big old waves out there are sure pulling up the, uh, the heavy shells. That's got to be at least half a kilo. Awesome! Is that a rock? Oh, crouch and stretch, Maddie. Oh, this one. Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. I knew I had to be quick. That's why I put my foot down to brace myself for the wave. Uh, well, up, 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 up. up. Ooh, danger zone, everyone. We've got ourselves a little magnificent volley. Very, very cute. He's a bit, bit bashed around, but he's got his tip, so I'm pretty happy with it. Just the, uh, the mini version to, uh, to the big one I left over there. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can understand, but those waves are like at a height that is higher than what I'm standing at right now in this rocky area. <laughs> oh, I really wanted to check out my favorite area in there, but it's kind of like the for real danger zone. Oh man, this section should not be covered in water at this time. The, uh, the massive swell up there is crazy pushing all this water up at low tide. Yeah, no, I'm not afraid of those like absolutely monstrously massively waves out there. Nope, not me, I'm not afraid of them. I'm just right way back here checking the, uh, checking the rack line, you know, because I'm so unafraid. <laughs> this one looks cute. Oh, got ourselves a little scallop right there, the uh, commercial scallop. Where did that crowned cone go? Yep, saw that one. Little crowned cone right there. I suppose he's not too little. Let's do a quick sweep over before I go to a different uh, death zone part. Ooh, look at that one! Oh my goodness! What? It is actually whole. Are you kidding me? I've never found a whole one of these, I don't think. Ah, oh, wow, I don't even know the name of it. Look at this tiny, cute little bonnet, everyone, in its hole. I don't know the name of it, but oh my goodness, it's so adorable. <laughs> it was a good idea to check the, uh, the, the things up here as well, wasn't it? Oh my, totally worth getting out of the danger zone for that cute bonnet. Got myself a cute little moon snail as well with a black tip. Ooh, what else can I find up here? I was just about to pick up this, uh big old moon snail right here. Lots of moon snails up here, but look at what's right next to it. Oh, it is whole. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is a good little rack line. Oh, la la. Would you get a load of that one? I want to say it's a monkey sand snail, but I've been told that these ones with like the dark brown and the big white stripe through them are something else. So I'll have to put it up on screen, but oh my, this is like one of my favorite moon snails. That's super exciting. Wow. And this guy, half, half ingrained in the sand. Yeah, I think he's a scaly scallop. Isn't he a nice one? Ooh, back over at the pile right now. Look at that one. <gasps> that looks spectacular. I think it's going to be glossy when it dries. It is a lovely blue cowrie. The, uh, the yellow toothed cowrie. Um, these cowries, as well as like erosas and uh, the labralinatas and the cherry cowries, they seem to lose a bit of their color after they leave the beach. So. I don't know, in a couple of weeks, I think this one will be a much lighter blue. Ooh, this one, I do like these ones. This guy is an obelisk creeper snail. Very nice. Always love the textures on them. So, 
This is a type of shell. It's a type of slit worm shell. One of the thickest I've ever seen. I don't know if I want to keep it though. Would you guys have kept it? I did notice over here though, this one. Ooh, 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 look at that one. Woohoo! What? It's a zebra volute with its tip on the rack line. Oh my goodness, that like never happens. That's such a good one. And the one I just picked up, I'm sorry, that was the, uh, the obelisk creeper shell from last time. Put those two down for a second. This one, a cute little nutmeg of some kind. Definitely think that's adorable. <laughs> I have been looking in this section and like behind me a little, not too heavily yet, but what? <laughs> How did I miss this? <gasps> it is all. Are you kidding me? That's super cool. It's a Kirika cowrie. Ooh, I'm sorry, Kirika. Also called the, uh, the thick edged cowrie. You know, because it's got such a, a thick uh, margin or a thick edge right there, very, very thick uh, teeth there as well. I absolutely love these guys. Lovely big blue shell. That's such a good find. I can't believe it was just here. I'm so glad I'm looking out here instead of the danger zone out there. Whoa, that is a big piece of that red coral. Yeah, usually they're like that size. You're like the bits that no one wants. Ooh, that's a cool one. Look at that like intricate density it's got. That's pretty nice. I might take that one. I don't collect much of this stuff anymore, but lately I found some really big beautiful pieces. Ooh, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's a lovely big auger shell. Definitely want that one. What else do we see? Moon snail. I've got lots of moon snails already. Little pheasant shell right here. They always pop up in the mini piles. Oh, this one's got a big drill hole in the side of him. Something definitely ate that. Um, ooh, yeah, I like these ones. This is only my third one of this. Something like a lined dove shell, I think is its name. I always get it wrong. Yeah, definitely think they're pretty cool. Just love the color or the, um, the contrast of them. Um, my goodness, what else do we have here? Lots of bivalves, obviously. Lots of limpets as well. Always lots of limpets around. Oh, wow. I can't, I'm just going to sift through this. No, are you kidding? Look what's right on top, everyone. It's a teeny tiny little wintel trap. Oh, my goodness. That's lovely. Because it's got that dark stripe kind of um, uh, close on its swirl right where my thumb is. I think that means it's a lamellose wintel trap. Very nice. Well, I just decided to like walk along the scattered section instead of uh, fixating on the big pile in case I miss something obvious, like a big thing. But oh my goodness, would you look at this glossy one? Are you actually for reals right now? Oh, <gasps> are you for cereal right now? Look at that. Isn't that one? A freaking gem zigzag cowrie. Oh, my sweet baby seashells, everyone. It looks so glossy and good. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, admission time. I woke up at like quarter to four this morning, <laughs> hoping I'd get lucky. And oh, my goodness, didn't I get lucky? Wow. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that. Is that what they call one of those like bleeding mouth neurites? Because it's got that red in there. I've heard we could find them. It just, I mean, to me it looks like a blotched neurite that's a bit green. But, you know, I think it's one of those bleeding mouth neurites or bleeding tooth neurites. Yeah, there we go. Wow, would you look at that color on the inside of it? Oh, he looks super duper nice. What a cool neurite. Never found one of these before. Oh my goodness, that water is coming up insanely quickly. Ooh, hello, this one. Yeah, we have the yellow tinted cowrie. I was about to say the lello tinted, like I was four years old again. And another lovely scallop shell. Yeah, two lovely yellow guys from that, uh, from that little section. Oh wow, look at that, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's very nice. So this one, it looks like one of those mulberry droops that I sometimes pick up, the ones that I say are very common. But this guy is something a little bit different, something from the same family probably, just a bit off. 
This one is the regular mulberry droop that I would usually pick up. See how it's like very, very rounded spots on it? The one that I just picked up is a bit nicer. He's got like more um, textures on him and stuff. Very, very cool. Got a couple of uh, pheasant shells in there. I always like picking up a couple of pheasant shells. I always uh, make my shell display at the end look even nicer. Oh, look at him. Whoa, he's nice. It's a cat cowrie. It's very, very red. I'd say he's been worn away quite a bit, but I mean, he doesn't feel like he's been worn away. I mean, he, he has been worn away, but wow, what a nice color on a cat cowrie. Oh, just noticed him. Yes, yes, it is whole. We have a beautiful clandestine cowrie. Ooh la la, that's nice. I feel like it's been a while since I found one of these. Ooh, right in here. Ooh. Yeah, 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 that's a very nice crowned cone. Very, very interesting pattern on him. I'm pretty sure he's empty. How did I not notice this big one? Are you whole? What? What? You are whole. Look at this mega sized conical moon snail. I've never found one that big before. That's kind of impressive. Another conical moon snail as well. Ooh, this one's got like some blue around his swirl. That's nice. And I forget what these cones are called, these little white ones with the purple tips. It might be a faded marriage cone, I'm not sure though. Oh, please be whole, please be whole. <clears throat> oh my goodness, it is whole. Wow, that is a very nice looking clandestine cowrie. Got a big bump in the back actually. Yeah, that's a lovely one. Second clandestine today. Oh, and a piece of that purple lace coral. Oh, and look at that nice one. He looks glossy in the sun. Oh, is he? No, he's not broken. He's a lovely blue cowrie. How about that? Well, I had a 15 minute break and the sun's come up and the water's come up. Let's see what else I can get from this shell pile before it all washes back into the ocean. Oh, hello. What's this one? Joined bivalve. Oh, look at him. He's got nice textures on him. Yeah, what's that all about? I am not good with bivalve names. I do like how it's just like all ruffly when you look at it from this angle. Goodness me, that is a nice one. The early morning sun is obviously um, helping it to look its best as well. Oh, is that a third clandestine? Oh, it is, and it's whole. Wow, look at that one. It's got a lot of brown on top. It's got its lovely brown zigzaggy stripes as well, but usually, they got three brown stripes underneath those zigzags, but this is just like an entire, like, top part of it is all brown. That's really interesting. So I end up finding a lot of these tortoise dove shells here. But wow, I just wanted to pick this one up. Look at how fresh it looks. Got a lovely point on it, and I'm pretty sure there's still some of its, like, um, slimy outer layer on it. Just, just judging by how it looks in the sun, that is a very, very nice one. Bit of bleach will bring that up perfectly. Oh, okay, I know I'm finding a lot of blue calories today, but wow, they're just looking really, really nice today. I just, wait, is that one I already picked up? No, no, I think I, I, think I didn't drop that out of my pocket. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, look at him. Kind of an interesting looking limpet. I dare say he might turn a bit white when he dries. Oh, it looks good though. I like the pattern on him. Again, I'm very bad at uh, categorizing limpets. He might be a radiate limpet, like a, or something like that, or a turtle limpet. It's hard to tell. Ooh, that one looks cool. I always forget what these are called. They're, um, they're more common down south, and I, I have been told the name, and I do keep forgetting them, I'm sorry. And before that, I did notice this guy. Oh my, isn't he lovely? Found one of these guys two days ago. He had a big hole in him, though. It is the little bear conch, a type of strombus shell. I think strombus just means conch. <laughs> oh, that one looks good. Oh, yeah, I think so. It's a lovely little graceful cowrie. It's a very nice size for one, actually. It looks nice and gray on top, too. Oh, what's this one? What's this? Oh, stretch. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Either some kind of droop shell or some kind of um, nutmeg or or something like that. That's a pretty nice uh, and interestingly textured shell. Oh, nice one. Oh, yeah. 
Got myself a very pretty scallop shell. I guess no one wanted that on the walking path today. Wow, the surf is really, really big today. The cyclone is churning up like a lot of waves. Um, the tide is much higher than it should be, but it's also churning up a lot of really great shells that I've already found today. But, oh my goodness, that surf is kind of hectic and scary. Well, the, uh, the tide just swallowed up that nice shell pile over there, so I'm gonna look in the rock pools for a bit more. Um, anyway, I just spotted something quite large over here. I'm excited to see this one. Big moon snail, let's take a look. Ooh, he is a big one. Look at that guy. Got a lot of black on him, but his condition is like pretty much perfect. So the black is from um, a sediment out there. Well, he's either, I think it's while he's growing, he like grows and puts some of the black sediment into a shell creation or it just goes black over time, something like that. Oh, yep, I'll take that. <laughs> Lovely lace coral. Oh, I barely noticed that out of the corner of my eye. Are you whole? Ooh, ooh. Yes, you are whole, look at that one. No crab inside, just a couple of rocks. That's my second zebra volley this morning with the tip. Oh. Okay, so I was just picking up a couple of really nice minis off camera, mostly pheasant shells and beans. I wasn't expecting to find this glorious treasure still sitting here. How come no one else has found him yet? There's lots of people out walking their dogs now. <gasps> wow, it's a nice one. It's a really nice one. Wow, it's a freak one too. Look at that profile on it. It's supposed to be completely like, um, rounded out like a dome or a circle it's all bumpy lumpy right there oh my goodness it's big though and it's in spectacular condition i'm sorry everyone i'm not actually saying what it is it is a brown lined paper bubble i found two of these guys live here um two days ago oh my goodness that is such a nice find I always feel like I'll find something good if I pick up enough off-camera minis, like it starts like a like a, a hot streak for me or something. And I think I have, look at that one down there. <laughs> this is my second Wendell trap today, everyone. Look at him. Ah, uh, there we go, I turned it over. As opposed to my first one, which was a Lamelotes Wendell trap, I'm pretty sure this one is a precious Wendell trap. Just because it's more like, like of a rounder shape and a bit squatter and doesn't have that um, black stripe. Very, very nice though. This is a, a lovely little addition to my excellent morning. He looks nice, right? Yeah, it's one of those um, air breathing limpets or also, the, uh, also called the false limpet uh, because he breathes air. Yeah, I just like the color and pattern on him. I think he looks kind of nice. It's a surprisingly good day for the minis today. Got lots of beans and pheasants. I'm enjoying myself. Just notice this guy, he's a little bit calcified, but he's a bit of a hard one to find, so I'll take him. He is a lovely little fringed cowrie. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm picking up minis off camera again. Look at that one. It is a teeny weeny wendel trap. My third one today, I'm not sure what kind. Maybe another Lamelos. That is probably my absolute smallest wendel trap to date, without a doubt. So here are the shell finds for today. And if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more shell finding adventures. But of course, before we all go, let's talk about a favorite. And I mean, why are you even here? Don't you already know what my favorite is? Okay, don't let that stop me from hearing about your favorites down in the comments. So yes, it's probably the title of this video. My favorite is this absolutely gorgeous zigzag cowrie. It is only my second ever zigzag cowrie and I can't believe the condition it is. My is in. My first one was not this glossy or shiny, was not this lovely deep color. There is just no comparing the two of them. And the, uh, the zigzags on it were not as nice as this one. So wow, that is just a very, very nice cowrie. I showed it to a few people out here today and they were less impressed with it than the uh, Wanaway Deer Cowrie or the, or the Kurika Cowrie. So let me know which Cowrie was your favorite. I'm genuinely curious. I want to give a little special mention to all of my lovely blue Cowries. Don't usually find so many lovely blue Cowries in one day. Same with the Zebra Volutes. 
and the uh, completely intact brown lined paper bubbles. They are lovely. That first one is definitely a freak or something like that. It's got a deformed shell, very cool. This second one, um, excuse me if I don't pick it up. I don't know if I'm gonna show the footage of it because I picked it up high on the rack line and it still had some fleshy bits inside of it. Um, poor snail can't actually retract into their shells for these paper bubbles. So yes, I'm gonna need some uh, creative thinking to uh, work the uh, fleshy bits out of that, but I didn't wanna show it. And oh my goodness, I've got so many good shells today. I've kind of forgotten all the good ones that I got right at the start. Oh, I really love this intact bonnet. Just this teeny little rare bonnet. Never usually find these ones. That is absolutely lovely. And finally, okay, we've got a bit of time. Finally, this one. The, uh, the Bleeding Mouth Neurite. Just super duper interesting. Love that color in there. It's so completely different than the regular blotched Neurites I find with no color on the inside. Just think that's absolutely wacky and fan freaking tastic. Anyway, that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.